Today on JD Cars, I'll be talking about the major power advantages of E90s equipped with the manual transmission. One of the first things I noticed about the car when I bought it was how short first gear was, as well as the other lower gears such as second, third, and fourth. A friend of mine and owner of a 335 M Sport drove my car and he claims this car actually pulls just as hard as his 335. I was interested in the number side of things so I looked up the actual gear ratios for the manual versus the automatic transmission. And what I found was very surprising. To simplify things I made a comparison chart for the manual versus the auto transmission. So to briefly explain what the gear ratio numbers mean, the engine is the input into the transmission and the output is the drive shaft going to the rear wheels. So the first number is the amount of revolutions that it takes to do one revolution out of the transmission. So you can think of it like riding a bike. When you're in a lower gear to climb a hill, you have to do more revolutions of the pedal, which is the input, but it makes it easier because you have more power to go up the hill. It's the same thing with a car. The more revolutions it's doing, the more torque the car has at the wheels. So let's get into the actual gear ratios. So here are the gear ratios in first gear. For rear wheel drive, it has a 6.1% advantage over automatic. For those of you with X drive, it has a 6.8% advantage. In second gear, it has a 3.8% advantage. For those of you with X drive, it has a 5.48% advantage. In third gear, the rear wheel drive has a 7.1% advantage. For those of you with X drive, it has a 7.74% advantage. In fourth gear, 6.03% advantage. In fifth gear, it has a 17.65% advantage. And lastly, in sixth gear, it has a 26.87% advantage. Something kind of crazy to think about is when the manual transmission is in sixth gear here, it actually has the same gear ratio as the automatic transmission when it's in fifth gear. So if you add up all these percentages and divide it by six for the six gears, there's an 11.27% advantage overall. This is for the rear wheel drive and for the X drive, it's an 11.77% advantage. So not a big difference there. However, you do also have to take into account the fact that manual transmissions only have about a 15% power loss, whereas automatics have about a 20% power loss due to the fact that the transmission has to do more work. So if you take into account this 5% difference, overall the manual transmission has a 16.27% advantage over the automatic transmission. This is a pretty significant advantage and it's definitely something to keep in mind if you're thinking of purchasing an E90 or if you're looking to upgrade. Well guys, I just thought that was something interesting to share. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like below and subscribe if you've yet to do so. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time on JD Cars.